Hi. Now, for this movie, I'm going to crawl below my desk. Because, look, this is my desk. Below my desk, I've got a small setup. Let me show you what I've got here. I made a small drawing. These are the solar panels on my roof. There are two wires coming in my house. Those two wires are this blue and the brown one. And the brown one actually is connected as well with this extra wire. So this is the negative, this is the positive. The positive goes from the solar panel to the battery. From the solar panel to the battery. Then it goes from the negative lead to a small LED light and back to the minus. So this is the minus going through the LED lights to the minus of the battery. Now this is the thing I noticed. Well, at this very moment uh, it's, it's raining outside and there's not much sunlight at all. I do have some power. I can show you how much power I've got. I don't know if it shows up, but it says 7.61 volts. It's the voltage on the LED. Um, let me show what's incoming. The incoming power e voltage is 19.8. If I remove this lead, <laughs> it jumps up to 56 volts. Hmm. Just one second. One second. Huh. Shut down this. So, sorry. <clears throat> um, had to do that. There's some high voltage over there um, being generated to desulfate uh, battery. I took it away, so there's no uh, radiant energy uh, around, not that I know of. I've got 19.9 volts, uh, and if I connect it to the battery, my solar panels are delivering 19.7 volts to this circuit, the LED light and the battery. Uh, and it is almost not lit. The voltage on the LED is the yellow wire. I am pulling it. It's just barely 7.5 volts. Not enough to light. What am I going to do? I'm going to make a shortcut. I'm going to short out the LED. So I'm going to put the negative of the solar panel directly on the lead of the battery. So I've got a green and a yellow wire, which are the same. One goes to the LED and of course to the digital meter. The other one I've got here. And what I can do with it is I can short out the LED. Have a look. Take it away. The LED comes on a little bit and I short it out. You see it's gone. Take it away. Short it out. Have a look at the voltage. I've got 0 0.707 millivolts. 60 millivolts, sorry. And if I disconnect the minus, oh you didn't see it, I disconnected it. Um, I've got 7.3 volts. Now what am I going to do? Like on this picture I'm going to make a shortcut. I don't have the real switch. I'm going to push this crocket against this part of the battery. I'm going to do it on the back side because um, there's more room over it. And just have a look what will happen if you can already see it instead of um, diminishing 
I'm getting a brighter light. I'm going to pulse. I'm doing pulsing, you see? I'm pressing against it. Uh, so, oh, maybe I should. Um, sorry. Uh, I was wob wobbling around with the camera. I forgot about the camera. Sorry. Anyhow, you get the picture. As I am sort of shorting and pulsing, what happens is the LED gets brighter and brighter. Let me do it again. Maybe I can show you that the voltage is not seemingly to go up at all. By the sound of it you can hear what I'm doing. Put it on hold so it will keep the read, reading. Sorry, the reading. Look. I'm only pushing against the battery pole. So, anyhow, 7 volts is not enough. And now I'm going to lower the voltage. As you can see, the digital reading never exceeds the 7 volt. Well, that is at this moment, of course, 7 volt. If there is a little bit more light outside, the solar panels will generate more. This is, uh, this is weird, man. Yes, this is weird. I like phenomena. Just things I cannot um, explain myself. I might have seen something about John Bedini's way of uh, filling up a battery, uh, which has to do something with electrons um, piling up, something with a direct C, etc. Blah blah. It's sorry, not uh, not really into my knowledge. All I can see is that there is something. And look him up. There's another YouTuber. Um, I'm not sure who. But if you uh, connect two earth wires with each other. And you disconnect them rapidly. Uh, there seems to be like half a voltage or something like that. Uh, with some power to it as well. So maybe this pulsing I'm doing just as well has to do with it and again um, it's lighting up outside and well you can see I can short it out and still I can get it to increase a little bit more well now <laughs> where does the energy come from I hope it's not because of me pushing against the contacts Okay, that's it. Any, anyone uh, with a solution uh, who knows more about this, please share.